All right, here is the complete assembly for 5043 the rear. We're over here at the turbocharger. Uh, I guess we got a cover on the turbocharger as of now, but uh, behind it it's a uh, turbo connection with a clamp, and then you can see probably uh, half a foot or a foot of uh, five inch tubing, and you go clamp expands to the f to the flex and then you got a 90 degree and you hold it up you know these guys are using this piece over here to give a lot of support so this is connected to this just to give a little more support and then you got the 90 with a flange with the clamp I mean inlet Serial number for the rear is 10,089. You got the connections. Two is for the carb data logger, one is for hours. This is hours, thermocouple, back pressure. Um, this is our th this is our back pressure over here. And then, then we can go here the way we wired the we routed the wire along this way, this way, this way. We use that box, uh, inside there is a memory module and the ECU. And then if you look on the other side, you gotta be careful here. The tank is here, flowing. Actually, let me go back to the line that connects to the return line, which is, which is this white line over here. The white line, it goes, it goes. You can see it got a little fluid in it take this piece off see the white line it's got fluid it's got the FBC in so basically you're going there 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 and then you see the white line there you go there's a T connection right to the return line okay that's a seven inch that's a caterpillar piece, uh, seven inch uh, clamp. You know, it's gotta be a heavy duty clamp to hold all this big boy here. All right, then we did all this, uh, the metal tubing that we converted did, they probably should do for 5,200, I like this, uh, you know, all the routing and stuff. Okay. And you, you know, you can see these guys, there's parts where these guys had to cut and weld over here you can barely see but over there it's cut and welded and they they do a good job and this little guy over here is for the carb it's uh, the GPS for the carb all right uh, and the carb data logger is inside this box here which uh, I'm not gonna open but everything is here their stuff is here uh, the connection for the download for them is here and ours is here so we take the downloads here and I have to be careful here and as I said that's a tank and then these are our lights little guys over here two lights USB USB ECU and memory module good Turn it off, I think. Well, just to see the size of this big guy, I think I'm gonna go down here. Gonna go down, and basically, you can see how big this thing is. That's our DPF tank, and if we can see the lights, and this is gonna be tough. There you go. You know the black piece right in the middle metal is for the USB and then you got the uh, the two bottom LEDs, one is for the ECU, one is for the memory module. Alright. This thing is not small, huh? That's it, that this is it. 5043 baby, the rear. 
Now we're gonna go to the front. Here's the front. 5043 front. This place is. We're on top of the lane field here. And look at all the mountains that surround that lane. And that's Bruce right there. Alright, so we're going on top of the front. Right there, you see the tank. Um, the connect Bruce, can we see the connection from on top for the fuel tank? For okay. I think we can uh, get a visual of this. Okay, the line, the white line is coming out. Let me go right up. Okay. Go on, go while he's in the tank, go right up to the next steps. Yep. Okay, let me go, let me follow the routine here and go. So basically from the thing that I showed you from here on top. You see the thing there? The line, white line, comes out, goes this way, and then goes to the T piece over here to the return line. Sorry, big guy over here. I'm just gonna walk up in it. Um, I like this uh, the metal piece over here implemented. Here you go. Basically acts as a venturi to the air filter right here. And that's a caterpillar thing. And there you go, there is our lights. Hold on, there you go, two lights, top. USB connection for the memory module and the bottom line is for the for the memory module. Go down here, see the this installation. Alright, so kind of like this the same thing. Behind the turbo cover, it's a turbo connection with a flange. You got a five inch elbow going to the clamp, or actually they, they welded it, and then a clamp, and then you can see the inlet. And then you got our thermal couples with the back pressure sensors. Okay. Uh, thermal couple wiring. Then we got your, our IAD over here. Wiring, back pressure on the bottom. Memory module, right on the bottom. The CPK with the air dryer. Sorry. I think that's about it. It's as good as it gets. All right. Thank you.